I'm trying to keep the 1980s vibe alive and the 70s. I don't like that was just how I grew up. It was a massive obsession for me. Like, that's what drives me. I love my love for graffiti. 1986 on my 12th birthday, I got my first copy of Subway Art, which I still got. And then I got Beat Street the same day on VHS. Saw all that Friday after school, Beat Street, you know, it's like fictional Subway Art. And then ever since then, I've been the same. Like, I just, I just love it. I'm, it's an obsession, like, it's a way of life. There's scene, scene one of my heroes there. It's like when you get the book and you're young, when I got it, it was 12, but so what, you think that it's a world almost that doesn't exist. It seems like a fantasy world anyway, because you've only got the book to look at at these people when the picture's in such a different culture to where you are, it's all so raw. How I paint is, is like, I try to get into like a fantasy world. I've always wanted to paint the New York subway train and I still haven't done it. So instead, I, well, the only way I could paint a New York subway train in the 80s was to make a fantasy scene and, and then it's called subway fiction. That's the one that I use for the Burning Candy, the subway fiction shot. It's a fictional piece, I imagine that I did it on the train and then it's running through New York. Art history is very important to me as well, like, like say like early Picasso when he painted hills and landscapes and, and Vincent van Gogh and Philip Garston. So when I'm painting this work, instead of painting it flat, I'll paint the lettering with the texture of van Gogh and then I sample from that and put that in the background. So then I'm mixing like art historical samples as well. So it's all crossing over really, yeah. It's just like you're putting all this effort just to get some like sort of a, a prestige amongst your peers who are into it. It's a very pure thing and you take tremendous risks for no money to do this big painting on the train or the wall. But you have to be obsessed to make work anyway and it all, I mean any kind of artist has to be obsessed I think. Gondi like sampled the characters from Von Bode, so it is like the Von Bode and that's him painting it on the train. But that's a sort of fundamental that I've stuck with the tradition of New York subway graffiti of sampling characters from something else and bringing that into your work, which I'm using on the art star now with Captain America. So I've like used the angles on this side, the Captain America side, I've done the Captain rolling across and down. But yeah, no, it's good fun, it's a fresh subject matter to work with that I wouldn't have thought, which is what is nice when you get a brief sometimes and, um, and you can work with something different. But I mean, stars are exciting. In graffiti, they've always used like stars. So it's like the symbol of hip hop in a way, like the, from the cult film Wild Star, the electric shock in the start at the amphitheater at the end, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then look, oh, this is interesting here. You've got the sort of how they used to like paint on the denim on the side of their trousers. I love working on the denim. It's, it's cool, it's a nice deep color to work on. The, the white's jumping out and it's fine. I could work on denim forever. Like it's in the early stages now, but um, yeah, I'm really getting into it. Just, yeah, it's like, it's my baby now, yeah.